today's video we're going to talk about weeds, weed control, not only weeds in your cracks of your concrete and your cement, but also weed control in your yard. So let's go. So just to start off with, I never mix my weed control products in my tank sprayers ever. They are always separate, so I don't use my Roundup or Glyphosate uh, products in the same tank as anything else, like my Q4 or maybe the Tenacity. I don't ever use those in the same tanks. It gets a little bit uh, spendy in that regard, but I do it just because I don't like to. I don't like mixing stuff. But. So we're going to start off with Roundup, or otherwise known as Glyphosate. And handy dandy enough, the tank says it on there, so I don't even have to mark it. So Roundup goes in the Roundup tank sprayer. Not sponsored. So we're going to be putting in two and a half fluid ounces of the concentrate for every gallon of water. It's a two, two gallon tank sprayer, so we'll be putting in five uh, fluid ounces. I would never let a weed like this even come close to getting this big but I let this one grow for the sake of being able to say they can get this big and you can kill them this fast with just a simple spray and maintaining normally every year I always spray early on in the spring but I let this one do its thing and now we're gonna kill it Okay, it's day two of uh, taking care of the weeds. There has been a three day stint from when I sprayed last for just the weeds in the curbing and the, and, uh, the non-turf areas. 
um, but we've had three days full of rain so I've got definitely a, a good amount of moisture in the yard and one of the things that I like to use that I found a lot of success with and some people say well it's a little finicky and I do agree with that but Q4 has been one of the best products I've ever found that really helps take care of all my needs for keeping control of crabgrass, yellow nut sedge. I, I do know that I've got a couple spots in my yard that have got some, some small nut sedge issues, but nothing big that would worry me, and this thing will knock it out. But it also helps control bindweed, which is other, also known as morning glory, which I absolutely cannot stand that weed. It's just, it is a pain to get rid of, and once it's established, it's really hard to get rid of, but I've never had a problem since I've been putting down Q4, and I've been using Q4 for probably about 10 years. Um, these gallon uh, sizes are fairly spendy. They're about $130, $145 for a gallon, but you can get multiple seasons out of this. Um, I usually get about sometimes three seasons out of Q4, a full gallon. Um, but easily two seasons. So you're looking at about halving that per season at about $70 to $75 maximum uh, overall total spent uh, per season on your weed control. And I do two applications per year. One right before it gets hot and one right before, a couple weeks before the yard goes into dormancy to help act as a pre-emergent. Now a couple things about Q4. Um, I was having a discussion with Jeremy of the Greener Lawn a few days back and uh, we discussed Q4 and he's like, yeah, it's really finicky and temperamental and I agree, it can be. Um, I've never, the only thing I've ever experienced is what is given you as a warning on the label saying do not apply this at anything above 90 degrees. I have at one point in time applied it when it was just a couple degrees less than that. It was like 87, 88 and the very next day it was in the 90s and we went on a massive heat heat wave and it did show some stress in the yard. Now I have since uh, figured that that is not a good way to go and I now will put it down when it's about 70s and I'm always watching the weather for the right time to be able to apply this. So today it's about 77 currently but by in the next two days it's supposed to be up at above 91 and then it'll dip down for a couple days and then it's supposed to be mid 80s and higher there on out and so we will be getting into the actual summer heat and now is the time to apply um, this application usually lasts a good three months and then I'll like I said I'll look to apply it um, just before my lawn goes into dormancy in the fall but Q4 is a great product um, have never had a problem with it other than when I tested the temperature limits and paid for that a little bit but again your grass is resilient it will come back um, if you make minor mistakes but let's get to it now like I said earlier I do not like to mix my backpack sprayers or any of my sprayers with different chemicals there are a few that I feel safe with them interchanging but this one is what I use the Q4 in this is a four gallon sprayer and I just put the Q in the four right there so it helps me know Q4 goes in this and really not much else will I put in this. This backpack sprayer is probably, geez, coming up on 10 years old. Uh, she's seen a lot of good use but uh, she definitely has uh, been tried and true throughout the last 10 seasons. So now the application rate for Q4 on regular cool season turf grass is 2.6 to 3 ounces per every gallon and that is supposed to be able to cover per gallon 1,000 square feet. So we'll have to refill this back up um, because I've got just over that and then I sometimes will use the extra intermittently for a little bit of uh, spot control. Some on the concrete. No! 
I always fill the backpack sprayer up about three quarters of the way. I will add my solution, allow it to drain just a little bit, and then I'll rinse a little bit of that out and get what's left down into the tank, and then we'll fill up the rest of the tank. So in the very first part of the video where I sprayed all the sidewalks and the cracks and crevices and stuff, I didn't have my long pants on. My bad. I know you're supposed to have a long sleeve shirt, but sorry, I would have been named myself the Lawn Rebel, but that name's already been taken. Um, I don't get too worried about it as long as I'm making sure I'm not getting this stuff on my skin straight away. I'm fine. But uh, let's get going. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.